welcome back. We're at week four of our smoothie series, and I am so excited to share with you what I have today. We're making the cacao energy smoothie. So if you're someone that drinks a lot of coffee or needs coffee or tea to wake up, this is going to be your go-to smoothie. So I absolutely love it. Welcome, Francisco. Thank you, Francisco Griffin. Look, I am a coffee maniac, and Yes, I drink coffee all the time and I'm dying to find a substitute for my coffee. Mm -hmm. You gotta get me out of this coffee. What are we gonna right. do today? Okay, so we're gonna make a cacao energy smoothie. Cacao is a superfood. It's the raw form of cocoa, okay? So this is a superfood that is really high in magnesium, zinc, and iron, but it's also a natural stimulant. So perfect for the morning. You know how we say that in Spanish, right? How? Cacao. 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 Okay. <laughs> you got it right. You got it right. There. It's cacao. Cacao. Yeah, the first time I didn't understand what Feel you were talking it. about. No, I guess it's yeah. cacao. Yeah. yeah. There you so, go. Super And sweet. it's so delicious. So if you're someone that likes chocolate, you're going to love this. Good. Now, why would you not want to have coffee anymore? Sometimes you're like, well, what's, what's bad about coffee? Okay. Um, it is a bowel irritant. So it's actually bad for your digestion. So if you um, have any skin problems, if you're finding that you are craving a lot of sugar, if you crash in the afternoon, um, if you're having a hard time maybe losing weight or maintaining your weight, caffeine is not actually going to benefit you. It's not going to help those things. So the more that we can you know, work those things, work the caffeine out of your diet, the better it's going to be for your health. All right, so let's get started. We're using our almond milk here today. This is an unsweetened almond milk. And I believe it's next week that we're going to be showing you how to make your own homemade almond milk. You can use any um, milk alternative. We're not using dairy today. We're using things like almond milk, rice milk, hemp milk. You could uh, do cashew milk. Whatever you find that's a natural alternative to dairy is going to be the best for Does you. Does it have to be unsweetened all the time? Because, you know, mm -hmm. I noticed I go to the store, you have soy milk, you have yes. vanilla soy, you have yeah. unsweetened vanilla. I mean, you got yep. all, all these choices. Sure. The vanilla is fine. You know, if they're just using vanilla extract, that's absolutely fine. But if you could get unsweetened, the better. If they're adding cane sugar, again, it's not going to be the best for you, especially in the morning time. You're trying to set yourself up for success the rest of the day. Try to avoid the added sugars. Oh. We're using natural sugars from our fruits and vegetables. So we have some banana here today, for instance, and people say, well, it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. It's the natural sugars. And there's a lot of nutrients, magnesium and potassium in the bananas. Um, really good for your digestion, but also the natural sugars are going to be slowly absorbed into your bloodstream because of all the fiber. Whereas when you have cane sugar, it spikes your blood sugar levels up and then you'll come crashing down. All right, so we have some frozen organic bananas here. We have some mangoes. I just use a little bit. Um, to be specific, in this smoothie, I use four or five pieces of frozen mango, but again, you don't have to be that specific. We got a little handful of frozen organic blueberries. Now, blueberries are really good for you. As we know, berries are probably one of the best fruits for us. Um, and this is a perfect recipe to start incorporating those in. And blueberries are nice because they don't have lots of seeds. You can't really, you're not going to have to chew on them. But if you're using a good blender, you can use any berries. Brought to you by? Vitamix. <laughs> there you go. Hey, look, I noticed again, you put the... Um, we talked about this last week. You put the liquid first and then you put the other ingredients. We put the right? liquid, and filled it up to level one, which is equivalent to one cup. Then I added my frozen fruit. Um, and then I'm going to add the greens here. It doesn't necessarily matter exactly what order you put in. Um, but we are just using spinach today. I really want to focus on the taste of the cacao. So I'm not going to use any really bitter greens, but you can get creative, you know, if you're brave. So add a little bit of kale, add a little bit of broccoli if you want to. We're just going to use spinach today so you can really taste that cacao. All right, and then here's that cacao. Uh, similar question to what you've been asking, where do I get these ingredients? Yes. This um, sprouts is a great go-to, and whole foods as well. You do have to go to a health food store sometimes to get the superfoods, but this, I buy it once every few months. It lasts a long time, especially if you get a big bag of it. All right, we're gonna use a big tablespoon. I just would say grab a spoon, use a big heaping spoonful, drop it in, use a little bit more. And this is a taste preference if you like it really rich and kind of fudgy tasting. And I've noticed that all my smoothies, even the kids are drinking them. They're getting the greens into their diet. So that's just a bonus. Well, they're very good. They're very healthy for you. Very healthy for you. But you want to trick the kids into thinking, you know, oh, this is a treat. 
but really. Dude, you tricked me into <laughs> substituting <laughs> my chips and my right? donuts and uh -huh. everything else into the thing. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. I added a little bit of ice, as always, that's optional. And another option here, you could add that raw honey again. I'm not going to. I want to see what you guys think without it. All right, so just turn it on, get going. So that to me is like the perfect consistency that we're seeing today. You know, we use a little bit of frozen fruit, a little bit of ice. Um, and another tip here, if you like a really thick smoothie and you don't just want to, it's too thick to drink, get some glass straws. I buy glass straws and I use those instead of having plastic ones on hand. All right, we are all done. Simple as that. All right, so this is our coffee alternative right here. Nice. Okay. So this is this is good for one serving for one. That was person? good for one serving. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And can you say cacao again? Cacao. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good. So just so you guys know, if it's you're drinking awesome. tea in the morning, even green tea, black tea, that does have just as much caffeine, sometimes more than coffee. So be aware of that. The only type of tea that wouldn't have caffeine is an herbal tea, a natural herbal tea, yeah. which, which is definitely good and beneficial. There is a time and place for a little bit of caffeine, but this is a great way to get started um, to decrease your caffeine awesome. intake. So go ahead and try this, guys. To the office pile of tasters. Oh. And this is my personal favorite, so I hope you guys like it. <laughs> Salud. Cheers. Hey, if you like chocolate. I can taste the cacao. Mm -hmm, the cacao. Yeah, if you, like, <laughs> if you like chocolate, this is it. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. And this is great to have on hand, you know, whatever smoothie you're making, especially if it's banana based, add it in. But for some reason, that combination of the mangoes, blueberries, and banana is perfect. So, so if you want a little bit of sweetness to it, you would have added... The raw honey. The, the raw honey. Yeah. Oh. Or a date is great to add that in, like we showed you before, um, getting some dates and... How many would you two? add? Look, one. one or two for one person. Two. Yeah, it'll sweeten once, it up. Once again, this is a winner. Man. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me. Guys. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>